Hey there, it's Lindsay Anderson. Today I want to talk about a real serious topic which we are all facing right now, and that is this coronavirus pandemic. Now, of course, the health and safety of our families and every, you know, all of our day-to-day -day living, making sure the kids have childcare and all of this is of utmost importance. But I would be crazy to say that you as a coach or a consultant were not sitting here thinking how is this going to affect my business? Because quite frankly, yes, I understand family is most important, but most of us who are coaches and consultants are supporting our families through our business. So the question is, what does this mean for our coaching and consulting business? So first of all, I want to acknowledge this fear, anxiety, maybe even guilt or shame about feeling fear and anxiety are all extremely natural emotions that you should and you are 100% allowed to feel. Yes, I understand as a coach or a consultant, it can be very easy to beat up on ourselves and say, you shouldn't be feeling anxiety, you shouldn't be feeling stressed because you're a coach, you're a consultant, you're a leader, you're supposed to be guiding these people through. But we are humans and so first and foremost, know this, it is okay and you are totally human for feeling those emotions. The question is what you're going to do with them after or during or on a day-to-day -day basis because I feel that we are in it for the long haul, okay? This is a really serious situation and it's something that we all need to acknowledge. So that's one of the reasons why I created this video is number one, it is okay to feel those things, but is what I want you to come out of this video with is motivation and clarity and knowledge on how to take this situation, utilize it and ensure that your coaching and consulting business is utilizing the very best path forward. This isn't the first time this is going to happen. This isn't the last time it's going to happen. And so this is something as a business owner and as a coach or a consultant, you need to wrap your mind around. And this right here, right now, can 100% be a defining moment for you and your business. So this video will help guide you through. Number one, Okay? We feel all of these things and sometimes we want to be just like your competitors and feel that stress and that anxiety and that worry and run under the couch and hide and just assume we are going to pull back. Okay? We're going to pull back until this whole mess is over. Well, right after this mess is over, we're going into a really messy election. Okay, There is not going to be smooth sailing for quite some time in my opinion. So now if you are dedicated to being a coach or a consultant, the time is now to figure out how to maneuver through this, how to become a leader through this, how to build an audience through this and to come out even better. And not only that, people need help, okay? Right now, people need hope. They still have the same problems they had before we were locked in our house, okay? They still have the same parenting problems. They still have the same business problems. They still have the same motivational problems and the health problems. All of it just so happens, and lucky for us, is that we are now stuck in the house and we have those problems. So first and foremost, know that you hiding is not going to be the answer to this situation. Is what is going to be the answer is to understand that it's going to take some courage and it's time to step up and take the lead and people need your help. So the number one thing that I want you to leave this video with is how, what does my audience need right now? What can I possibly help them with? I've changed my entire seven week marketing plan that we were in the middle of that we all had lined out. I've turned it around to now focus on how to help people like you, coaches and consultants like you, to make it through this time. And I highly recommend that you do that as well. Yesterday, March 14th, I had a client close over $25,000 in coaching sales off of a challenge. So there is money out there. Don't let this mindset thing screw you over. Determine the difference between fact and fiction. Do not get sucked in by the news. Yes, it is a serious situation. Yes, things are happening and it is for real, but how that affects our daily lives is 100% up to you. There is money out there and if you are speaking to the needs and the wants and the transformation that your clients want, 
This is the time because your clients are in a state of flux as well. They're trying to determine how to achieve specific goals and they now more than ever need the help of coaches and consultants like you. So number one, figure out, okay, how to help your client base, your audience with the coronavirus situation and start helping them, start building conversations. And even if they don't buy, before we are let out of our houses at the end of this, whether that be six or eight or 12 weeks, right? I don't know how long it is. Then you will have taken this time to build an audience. You have taken this time to build that ever coveted, no like and trust factor. And when it is time, you will be able to sell to them and you will, and they will buy from you when the time is right. So utilize this time right now to build an audience and to lean in to digital marketing because that is all we have. We cannot do networking events. We cannot do in-person meetings. We cannot do conferences. What we have, what we have right now is digital marketing. So it is time to create content that will help your audience. Now is time to collect emails so that you can communicate with your audience, uplifting, motivational, hopeful content. And it's time to start having conversations and building those relationships because lucky for us, suddenly everyone has a boatload of free time on their hands. Okay? So that's number one is figure out what your audience wants. Number two, lean into content, Facebook lives, email marketing, blog posts, helping your audience. And number three, I know when you're scared and you feel anxiety and you feel fear, the number one way to stop feeling that way is to take action. So take my advice and come up with an action plan. What are you going to do over the next one week, one month, and two months to build your business, build your audience, send your message, and fortify your digital marketing presence? Because I'm here to tell you, this is an opportunity. In every single situation is an opportunity. Your competitors are hiding. They are pulling back. Facebook ads are cheaper. Everything is cheaper because everyone is scared and hiding. And I do not want that for you. I want you to take action. And while I know every day can be bumpy, that is why it is so important for you to sit down and create an action plan today. What content are you going to write? What is the call to action? How many conversations are you going to have in the spirit of helping your potential prospects? And believe it or not, okay? I am so I so believe in this. This is how I'm running my own business at this time is if you help people, it will come back to you. So people are looking for your help. Coaches and consultants, this is a very, very important time for you to make an impact on the world, on your audience, and truly, truly help them. And it will pay you back. So I hope you found that helpful. I hope you and your family are safe. And I hope that you guys can make it through this very uncertain time. I know it can be scary. And one more time, just know it is okay to be scared and feel all these feelings. It's what you do when you feel those things that determine the success of you and your business and where you're going to take it. This isn't going to last forever. Where are you going to be on the other side of this? Are you going to be like your competitors that finally, when they let us out of our houses, that you come out and nothing has been done because you've been watching Netflix and totally spaced out because you are scared? Or are you going to utilize these next several weeks into building an audience, leaning into digital marketing, making connections with your audience so that when they let us out of our houses, you have an audience, an audience of people who have leaned on you, who acknowledge you as an expert, and who know that you can absolutely help them. I hope you pick the latter. Please stay tuned here on this channel. I will definitely be giving a lot more tips throughout this time. Thank you so much for joining me, and don't forget to wash your hands.